This is a 1 by 2 MMI coupler, which can be used as a splitter to split power from a single waveguide on the left to two output waveguides on the right. The length of the central multimode interference region can affect the transmission efficiency to the output waveguides. Note that we only use one port on the right side, even though there are two output waveguides. And this is because the de device is symmetric across Y equals zero, as well as the source mode on the left. So we know that there will be even power splitting between the output waveguides. And we can get the total transmission efficiency into the fundamental mode of the outputs just by using one port at the output. The finding mode stage of the simulation has already been completed, so the simulation is in analysis mode, and we can see the results of the individual cells. Click the EME Propagate button to run the propagation step of the simulation, after which we can visualize the monitor results. This can be done either by directly right-clicking on a monitor or by selecting the monitor in the objects tree and then right-clicking on the result to plot from the result view window. I can change the group span of the multimode region and perform the propagation step again, which will recalculate the EME object results, and if the update monitors option is selected, the monitor results will also be updated. I can visualize the internal S matrix and user S matrix results from the EME solver region object. In the user S matrix results, clicking the view data button will open up a window showing the matrix values where row two column one gives the complex transmission coefficient from port one to port two. To get the power transmission efficiency, I need to apply the absolute value squared scalar operation. Interpreting the S matrix results will be discussed in the next unit.